Kubor Nagashlem Jong Nong San Hima. Ka chairperson jong ka AICC social media and digital platform ka Supriya Shirinati haba yakran bat kinong thok khobor menta ka sngi ka khat santri ko banai rempang arajar ar pulai ka congress bhawan kala ong ba ka BJP ka don ha pedeng ki jing e bat ki wei di ki sang san prathai ki badan ha pedeng ki jing e ki long ka TMC ki ba prashang ban long ki ta ki seng ban pelat MU pat ba kat ba ka jing sisha ba ka TMC ka dai ka seng ka bana sabar jong ka jalla megalia bat ka dai ka seng Kebom tip yang kita nerai bat ke kolsor jong ke jela. Kala ong ru bagi pat bat jong ke jela megalia. Kila snow tu ke e ban le. Susu agi ni ke sengi ke supriya kala ong ru. Bahapok keri India menta. Layo i balajan man ke sengi. Kadon ke jing penjat penpera yiki yeng mani. Ke jing pensitom yiki reunyam bat ke office terekam jong ki. Bat man ke sengi. Ki breo red pat ki syak thombor na kapor sa kapor. Kalau orang ru babalai. Wat ha ke sengi bekerpang jong ki mengait kristan. Ke arfu santri ke benai nok pra. Lahap ban pun praya udurmat jong Jesus Christ, bat kini kijing lek baru aki peni bakwa ban bekno ya kiri ngait Kristan. Kalau kentur iki pat bat jong kejela ban kendit benreu halor kijing jia ki balajia hapok kejela, bat kalau ongru bawat lana ki breu hapok keri ki donnya kejingya per Henry ki don pat ya kejingya serem. Kesupria kalau kerenru halor kejing shimsting ki hek jong ki seng ki ba ajinya dah ya ki kena bat ki kentai dah kaba ong. Bakam per la kadei ke MSCW ni ke National Commission for Women ni wat ke NCPCR ru. Henry ke kamram jongki kalong banya daya ki kintai ki kena. Bad ru banya daya ke hok lait lu jongki. Henry ke kelalong pun ban ki no ay min sim ni ke sorkar. Kela ter ru halor ke jingbom shim kia jongki ni ki seng. Ya ke ay ke bala jia ya ki khun kintai bat ki kena jong ke ri. Bad kala ong ru baka kamram jongki banya da amban senra ni ki kertong ni ki dekot jong ke seng BGP. BJP is in trouble. There are a few parties, and Trinamool seems to be one of them, which comes to do the rescue act. But the reality is that the Trinamool Congress is an outsider in Meghalaya. It doesn't understand the electorate. It doesn't understand the culture. It is as much of an outsider as anybody can be. And so, instead of letting them do the rescue act, for the BJP, I'm sure the people of Meghalaya will teach them a lesson. Last but not the least, I want to touch upon a few factors that are very disturbing and that should be brought to the notice of the people. I'm sure this is under consideration already. In India today, there are various parts of this country and every day, whether it's on social media or maybe some sections of brave media like yourselves, they report on these things. Every day there is an attack against a church. Every day a man is lynched because of the religion he professes. Every day minorities are under target. And why is that so? This brute majoritarian government has put law and order and good governance at complete pay. What explains the fact that on Christmas Day, whether it is Madhya Pradesh ruled by the BJP, or whether it is Uttar Pradesh ruled by the BJP, what explains the fact that on Christmas Day, statues of our Lord Jesus Christ are going to be vandalized? What explains the fact that young couples will be beaten up by the goons of Bajrangdal, supported and under patronage of the BJP in Karnataka? What explains the fact that the government is very sinister and wants Christians out of the crime lists? What explains the fact that the sixth schedule of our constitution which guarantees protection to the indigenous tribes of Meghalaya is under threat? And I think Meghalaya will have to wake up to the consequences of what this can really do. Meghalaya will wake up to the consequences of this imposition of one thought, one culture on the rest of this country. I belong to Uttar Pradesh and you belong to Shillong. But I think both of us are very different and yet we are very similar. And it is in our difference, it is in our diversity that India prospers and India thrives and India grows. But to deny us our diversity, to divide us on the basis of how we look, what we wear, who we marry, who we love, what we... I'll, I'll, give, you a, I'll give you a big picture answer to this. Whether it is the State Commission for Women in Meghalaya 
or whether it is the National Commission for Women in New Delhi or whether it's the NCPCR which is the National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights these institutions are meant to protect people these institutions are meant to safeguard democracy these institutions are meant to hold the governments of the day day responsible but these institutions have become cheerleaders of this government and wherever they are the NCPCR chief is not worried about the rising levels of malnutrition they are not worried about rampant child trafficking they are not worried about ncrd data year after year pointing out that children are being sexually abused more every year than the previous year what they are worried about is some child walking in bharat jodo yatra that's how vindictive they are the national commission for women takes so much of action on tweets by political opponents but she doesn't utter a word when some of the most celebrated athletes of the country were sitting at jantar mantar and crying and were, and were alleging sexual exploitation she doesn't utter a word on hathras she doesn't utter a word on ankita thakur she doesn't utter a word on how a bjp mla is sexually exploited what are we talking about these institutions are meant to protect the people of this country they are not meant to safeguard members of the bjp and to say that a single vote is wasted is actually insulting the people who cast that vote and the beauty of our democracy is that the power of the vote remains the same and every single person because of the universal adult franchise enjoys only one vote the poorest man in meghalaya has one vote as compared to the richest indian or the man sitting at the highest seat of power and that is the beauty of our democracy so to say that your vote is being wasted because it is going to be cast against you is actually defiling our beautiful democracy is insulting the people who want you out is insulting the innate wisdom of the indian voters but the bjp is known to have done that repeatedly and i'm not surprised at all so but given the number of scams that have erupted and that have saddled the five year tenure of this present government of which the bjp is a part and a very anchor part of it because nothing explains to me how mlas were making that switch how the rampant horse trading was happening without the bjp using its money muscle and of course agency power this government is saddled with corruption charges and we will bring in a transparency law which will make those in public offices accountable which will bring transparency to the bidding processes transparency to the procurement processes transparency to how a government or an executive should react when charges of corruption erupt what we have seen in the past 5 years of this government is when charges of corruption have erupted they've been brushed under the carpet and a brazen face has been put forward details of this law will soon be out in the public domain i cornered on an issue you just say this is not an issue of the election why is uranium mining not an issue of this election i would like to know they have a so called double engine government and suddenly the engine start working in two different you know start moving in two different directions when you are cornered on contentious issues the problem with the bjp is that you are running a government with brute majority and brute authoritarianism where even media channels and media houses like the bbc will not be spared but you don't want to answer questions of for which you are responsible you are in power in the center you are a part of the ruling alliance here and here and meghalaya you have pumped in money to poach and now you want to say that this is not an election issue this is as much an election issue as any other and the bjp should be ashamed of itself for not talking about it but the bjp can claim that the sun rises from the bjp headquarters are you willing to believe that i'm not and so the next government of meghalaya will be formed without the bjp will be formed with the congress being at the fulcrum of this alliance congress commitment to meghalaya an unemployment free meghalaya congress is committed towards providing a job to every household in meghalaya but commitments na ka sen congress na ka vinta ka
กัมมิกาเลียตีเอ็มซีกวนราชพีอยากกับไม่กัดอันดากับตีเอ็มซีกันท้าวสรการกัมมิกาเลียตีเอ็มซีกันเป็นมีไล่ลักตลีกิกร